tuning in. My name is Julie Schubach, and I'm the director of the Senior Resource Center at Family Service. CUI's TV is a collaboration between the Local Aging Network, Parkland College TV, Urbana Public TV, and the wider community to produce and air engaging local content designed specifically for older adults in Champaign County. CUI's TV is a project of the Senior Task Force, an interdisciplinary group of professionals and community members that meet monthly to discuss and take action on issues affecting older adults in Champaign County. Hi, I'm Kathy Rhodes from Circle of Friends Adult Day Center. And during this time of COVID-19, our center has been closed. We've been doing things like activity packets and phone calls, and then using technology such as Zoom to do our activities online. But we have found that the older population, including myself, are not that tech savvy. So we decided that perhaps using a venue that we're more comfortable with, such as a TV, would be a good option. So we decided to do a TV station just for senior activities. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I am Michelle Roberts. I am the program director for the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program at Parkland College. The goal of CUY's TV is to provide opportunities for local older adults to move their bodies, to exercise their brains, and offer entertainment and engage with the community from the comforts of their own home. Whether they are sheltering at home in the midst of a pandemic, are simply not getting out into the community as much as they used to. This is a wonderful opportunity to engage and participate in various programming. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Liz Sullard from Synergy Home Care, and we are so excited to bring you content tailored specifically for you. We will have exciting entertainment, such as comedians, musicians, and a nostalgic cooking show. We will have exercises and stretches you can do right from home. And we will also have senior specific education, health tips, and more. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Laura Rice, the Senior Outreach Coordinator at the Champaign Public Library. We hope that CUY's TV will be an ongoing community resource that you can tune into each week. CUY's TV is available Tuesdays at 11 a.m. on Parkland College Television or Thursdays at 1 p.m. on Urbana Public Television. Both are available to stream after the program airs on YouTube.com. If you have any questions or suggestions for content you'd like to see on TV, please email us at cuystv at gmail.com. That's the letter C U W I S E T V at gmail.com. Hello, and welcome to Dancing in Your Seat or On Your Feet. In this episode, we're going to show you some basic foxtrot and swing. This program is presented by the Parkland College Occupational Therapy Assistant Program. I'm Mike Weaver. I'm a certified occupational therapy assistant, and I've also taught social dance for 30 years. I'm here with my assistants, Caitlin, Savannah, and Kylie, and we're going to show you a few simple moves to get you dancing in your seat or on your feet. Occupational therapy helps people do things that are important to them, such as leisure, exercise and memory aids, even just getting dressed in the morning. Dance can help by increasing your fitness, increasing your range of motion, and some studies show that dancing can help uh, improve cognition by keeping your mind active. But first, a caution. Check with your healthcare professional to make sure that the moves that we're going to show you today are right for you. Don't do anything that hurts or doesn't feel comfortable. And don't dance on your feet unless your healthcare professional says it's okay. Also, if you're dancing on your feet, make sure that you're wearing footwear that is not loose and is not slippery. And make sure that the area around you doesn't have anything you'll bump into or trip over. And now, a little Dancing 101. All the steps in all the dances are made up of four basic elements. And we're going to show you those elements now. 
Now these elements, like the dances we're going to show you later, are so simple and you can learn them easily. And in fact, my assistants have not done these before either. So you can learn along with them and see how easy it is to learn. First, we're going to show you these elements seated down. The first element is just called a walking step. Now, since we're in our seats, obviously we can't walk. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to start with our left foot and we're going to kick out. So we'll kick our left foot out, then our right foot. So we'll kick and kick right and kick left and kick right. Very good. All right. The next element is what's called a side step. A side step is just you move your left foot to the side and you bring your right foot next to it. Going the other way, I take my right foot to the side and bring my left foot up to it. Those are side steps. Let's do a few side steps together, starting with your left foot. So bring your left foot to the side, right foot next to it. Now, your right foot to the side and your left foot next to it. Let's do a few of those. Left, right, now right, left. Left, right, and right, left. Very good. Easy enough so far, right? The next element we call a rock step. A rock step is you put one foot out in front of you and the other foot is close behind. So I'm gonna put my left foot in front, my right foot behind, and I'm just gonna step on my left, then step on my right. So I'm gonna step left, then right. Left forward, right back. Left, right, left, right, left, right. One more, left, right. Very good. Now the third element is called a triple step, but we don't need the triple step for any of the dances we're doing today. So we're going to skip that one. We'll cover the triple step in some other episodes that do need it. Now, if you're on your feet, follow along with Kylie and me. And if you're still in your seat, follow along with Caitlin and Savannah. The first element, if you recall, was a walking step. Now in your seat, we just did kicks instead of walking, starting with your left foot. But on your feet, a walking step is just like you're walking down the street or at the grocery store. I'm gonna start with my left foot and we're just gonna walk forward. These are walking steps. Now walking steps might also go backward. Just make sure you're not gonna run back into anything. So while Kylie and I walk forward and backward, those of you in your seat, like Caitlin and Savannah, you're going to kick, starting with our left foot, and we're going to go walk, 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 walk. Now we're back up, walk, walk, walk. Those are walking steps. Now the side step, again, if you were in your seat, that's where you stepped your left foot to the side and brought your right foot together to it and went to brought your right foot to the side and brought your left foot together. And we're gonna do something similar standing. But when we're standing, we're going to act like we're at a movie theater and we wanna scoot our way out of the row and we're gonna to step to the side and close our feet. Side, close our feet. All one direction. Now we might have to go back to the right, so we'll step side, close our feet, side, close our feet. So we sometimes call these excuse me steps. So it's just like, uh, like I said, like we're at the movie theater and I want to get my, go out and get some popcorn. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. All right, I got my popcorn. I'm going to go back into my seat. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to do that again. This time, if you're seated, go ahead and do your sidestep seated. Kylie and I are going to do them standing. Ready, go. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, let's go the other way. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Very good, those are side steps. The third element is a rock step. We're gonna start with our rock step by taking step forward on our left foot, back on our right. So we're changing direction. So it's like we take a step forward, change our mind, go the other way. That's a rock step. Again, you can follow along with them in the chair, and that's where you just put one foot in front of the other. And here, the same thing, we step forward on the left, back on the right. 
forward on the left, back on the right. Now sometimes a rock step might start with the right foot going back and the left foot forward, but it's still the same element. It's still right foot back, left foot forward. Right foot back, left foot forward. Very good. Like I said before, we don't need the triple step, which is the fourth element, for either of the dances that we're doing today, so we'll skip that for now. The Foxtrot is popularized because of its versatility. It was popularized by dancers Vernon and Irene Castle in 1914, and it is believed to be named after Harry Fox, who was a vaudeville entertainer. The Foxtrot is composed of simple walking steps and side steps. The dance combines slow steps and uses two beats of music and quick steps, which use one beat of music. Some famous songs you may recognize that you can do the Foxtrot to are All of You by Ella Fitzgerald, Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra, You've Got a Friend in Me by Michael Buble, Stay With Me by Sam Smith, Royals by Lord, and a lot of country music is Foxtrot also. Each dance has its own specific rhythm, and dancers count that rhythm in terms of quicks and slows. A quick gets one beat of music. So if I'm gonna clap quicks, I'm clapping on every beat. Slows get two beats of music. So if I clap the slows, I clap every other beat, like this. Slow, 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 slow. For Foxtrot, our rhythm is two slows followed by two quicks. And so that would be like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, slow. Go ahead and clap it with me. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Very good. Now we'll turn the music off and show you our basic step for the Foxtrot. The basic step for the Foxtrot consists of two walking steps, or since we're seated, we're going to do two of our kicks, and those are going to be the slows. We'll start with our left foot, and we'll kick out slow, then the right foot, slow. We follow that with two quicks, and that's going to be our side step, step, step. Now if you want, for when you're seated, you can just do those in place and make it more of a march march. So our basic step while we're seated will be like this. Kick left, kick right, then march, march. And we'll do that in rhythm. Ready, go. Kick, kick, march, march. Very good. Let's do a few of those in a row. Kick, kick, March, march. Left foot, right foot, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Very good. And now let's do that with music. I'll say one, two, ready, go, and then we'll start. One, two, ready, go. Left foot, kick, kick, march, march. Left, right, march, march, left, right, march, march, left, right, march, march. One more, right, march, march. Very good. Got that? That's our basic step with the Foxtrot in our seat. And now I'm going to show you a little routine where we're going to add our arms in. And we'll go ahead and turn the music off for this and we'll show you how to do arms with your feet. Now, if you have trouble doing both at the same time, that's okay. You can just do one or the other, but if you can do them both, here's what we're gonna do. When I kick my left foot out, I'm also gonna reach my left arm out. And then when I kick my right foot out, I'm gonna also reach my right arm out. And then when I do the march, march, I'm going to act like I'm drumming, drum, drum. So with feet and hands, I do kick and reach, kick and reach, drum, drum. So kick and reach, kick and reach, 
and drum, drum. Now in rhythm, again, that's our slow, slow, quick, quick rhythm. We're going to do, starting with the left foot, we're going to do kick, kick, march, march. Kick, kick, march, march. Kick, kick, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Very good. Now let's try that with music. Again, I'll count off four beats. I'll say one, two, ready, go. Now we'll start. One, two, ready, go. Left foot, kick, kick, march, march, kick, kick, march, march, reach, reach, drum, drum, reach, reach, drum, drum, left, right, march, march, left, right, march, march. Run, two, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Very good. Now we're going to show you the basic foxtrot step on your feet. Now when you dance with a partner, one person leads and the other follows. I'm going to show you the part for the leader first. And I apologize, I'm going to turn my back on you, but it's easier for you to tell what I'm doing that way. Okay. So the leader starts with, his, with the left foot, and we're going to walk forward two times. One on the left, one on the right. I follow that with one of those excuse me steps to my left, side together. That's the basic step for the foxtrot. I'll show you that one more time. Starting with the left foot, it's forward on the left, forward on the right, then an excuse me step to the side. And then I'm ready with my left foot to start again. Left foot, right foot, side together. So in rhythm, we do this. We do slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now I'm going to show you the followers part for that step. And I'm going to ask Caitlin to help me out. And again, I'm going to turn my back on you. Now the follower always starts with their right foot. Okay. And the follower is going to take two steps back, starting first with the right, and then with the left. Then we're going to do one of those excuse me steps to the right, side and together. So again, that step is starts with the right foot, right foot back, left foot back, and side together. Now the foxtrot is danced in a basic dance hold. You may already know what that is, but we're going to show you. I'll be the leader, and I give her my left hand with her right, and then I take my right hand on her shoulder blade, and then she puts her left hand just below my shoulder. This is the basic dance hold. Now we're going to do that same foxtrot basic in this position. I'm going to start with my left foot, She's going to start with her right foot, so we're both starting with this foot here. We take two steps in that direction, one, two, and then we do one of those excuse me steps, side together. And then this foot will be ready to go again. One, two, side together. Now like we said, the foxtrot rhythm is two slows followed by two quicks. So as we walk forward, those are the slows. As we go do our side excuse me step, those are the quicks. So we do it like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Very nice. Now, you may notice that after a couple of those foxtrot basics, we've run out of room. And we don't want to stop and turn around when we're, just dan when we're actually dancing. We want to be able to keep dancing as we turn. So here's how we do that. Again, I'm the leader, and I'm going to turn my back on you so you can see what I'm doing. But the leader is going to, instead of walking forward twice, I'm going to do one of those rock steps. So I'm going to step forward on my left, back on my right, and then I follow that with the excuse me step again. And as I do that, I will gently turn to my left or counterclockwise. So I do forward, back, side together. Forward, back 
side together. Forward, back, side together. Now it doesn't matter how many of those I do, just I do enough of them to I, I'm turned around and I can go back the other direction. Now we're both going to show you what the follower does. The follower steps back with the right foot, then forward on the left, and then that, excuse me, step to the side, side together. So it's right foot back, left foot forward, side together. Now as we do this, we will gently rotate again, counterclockwise. So we're going to do, starting with the right foot, we're going to do back, forward, side together, right foot back, forward, side together. One more, right foot back, forward, side together, and that's what the follower does. We're going to show you that step in our dance position. So again, I'll play the part of the leader. She's going to be the follower. And we are going to start with that rock step. I'm going to step forward on my left. She's going to step backward on her right. And we do rock, step, side together. Rock, step, side together. Again, gently turning. Don't turn too much at once. Doesn't matter how many of these it takes you to get turned around. Very good. Very good. Now we're going to combine those two steps. I'm going to do two of the basic steps. Forward, forward, side together. Forward, forward, side together. And now I'm going to use that turning step, as many of them as I need to, to get turned around. Rock, step, side together. Rock, step, side together. Rock, step, side together. I'll do one more. And now I'm turned the other way and I can keep dancing the other direction with my one, two, side together, one, two, side together. I'm out of room, so I'll go ahead and turn here. Rock, step, side together, rock, step, side together, rock, step, side together. And that's how the basic foxtrot step works. Now we're going to show you those same steps with music this time. So we're going to get back in our basic dance position. Remember our rhythm is slow, slow, quick, quick, like that. I'll count off four, I'll say one, two, ready, go, and then we'll all begin. Those of you who are in your seats, follow along with Savannah and Kylie. One, two, ready, go. Walk, walk side together. Walk, walk, side together. Now rock, step, side together. Rock, step, side together. I'm not turned around yet, so I'll keep doing it. Side together. Rock, step. Now I'm going to go the other way. Walk, walk, side together. Walk, walk. Now I turn. Rock, step, side together. Rock, Step, side together, rock, step, side together, and now I'm ready to go the other way. Very good. That was fun, wasn't it? And easy. Well, now we're going to show you a little bit of swing. Swing music is a form of jazz from the early 1900s that originated in the U.S. As it gained popularity, dancers began using various rhythm patterns taken from regional dances. Swing music became extremely popular in the 1930s, 40s, and into the 50s, with regional dances such as Lindy Hop, Shag, and Jitterbug. As swing music gave way into rock and roll, these regional dances combined into three forms. The most popular today are East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, and Jive. East Coast Swing is further divided into single, double, and triple rhythms. The single rhythm is a swing that we're going to be doing today. Some famous songs you may recognize that you can do various forms of swing to are Rock Around the Clock and Shake, Rattle, and Roll by Bill Haley and his Comets, Goody Goody by Frankie Lyman, In the Mood by Glenn Miller, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, and Crazy Little Thing Called Love by Queen. Now the rhythm of the swing is the same as it was for Foxtrot. Two slows followed by two quicks. But you'll notice this swing music is much faster. 
so you have to move a little quicker. So as we clap our rhythm for the swing, we count slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. It's going to be that fast. Okay. I'll count off one, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go again. And then you join me. One, two, ready, clap. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. One more. Slow, quick, quick. All right, very good. Now we're going to show you the basic step for swing in our seat. We're going to start with our left foot again. And for swing, we're going to start by just stepping our left foot to the left. Then we're going to take our right foot and step it to the right side. So a left goes to the left, right goes to the right. Simple enough, right? We're going to follow that with one of those rock steps. If you remember, the rock step was a step in one direction and the other foot behind. So the step forward and back, forward and back. Those will be the quick quicks. So when we put that together, we step to the left, we step to the right, then we rock step. We step to the left, step to the right, rock step. Let's do that together. I'll count the rhythm first, no music yet. We do left, right, rock step, left, right, rock step, left, right, rock step, left, right. One more left, right, rock step. Very good. Now, we're about to do this with music, but remember, it's going to be a little quick, so we'll kind of keep the steps very small. Let me demonstrate the speed first. So if I do my step with this music, I'm going to step this fast. Left, right, rock step. Left, right, rock step. Left, right, rock step. So again, if you keep your movement small, it makes it much easier to do. I'll count one, two, ready, go, and then we'll do this together in our seat. One, two, ready, go. Left, right, rock step. Left, right, rock step. Left, right. Rock step, left, right, rock step. Keep going. Now, if you can't manage the rock step, you can just do march, march, and that would be okay. March, march, left, right, march, march, left, right, march, march. Either way works. Left, right, rock step, left, right, quick, quick, left, right, quick, quick, left, right. One more, quick, quick, left, right, quick, quick. All right, very good. All right, that was fun, right? Now I'm going to show you a little bit of arm movements that you can do along with those, the feet movements. Now again, like I said before with Foxtrot, if you have trouble doing both feet and arms at the same time, that's okay. Just do one or the other. But if you can do them both, here's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do if I do the same with my feet and my arms, when I step to the left with my left foot, I put my arms out a little bit. And then when I step with my right foot, I bring them back together. Then, on the quick, quick part, I bring my hands back toward me and then out in front again. So the whole thing with the hands is out, in, back, forward. Out, in, back, forward. Remember the out, in are the slow, slow. The back, forward is the quick, quick. So we do out, in, back forward, out, in, back forward, out, in, back forward, out, in, back forward. Now if I add my feet to that, it's my left foot as I go out, my right foot as I come in, and then back forward as I march, march, or rock step, whichever one you can do. So let's do that together. Ready, go, out, in back forward out 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 in one more out in back forward very good now let's try that with music now remember the music is kind of quick so we'll have to keep that small our movement small 
and we'll have to go a little quicker. I'll count off four again like I always do. One, two, ready, go, like that. One, two, ready, go. Out, in, back, forward, 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 out, in, out, forward, back, out, back, forward, out, in, back, forward. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, one more, slow, quick, quick. Very good. Now we're going to show you the basic swing step on your feet. And if you are still in your seat, you can follow along here with Kylie and Caitlin. So I'm going to show you the leaders part first. And again, I'm going to turn my back on you so you can better see what I'm doing. The leader, as always, starts with his left foot. And for the swing basic, I'm just going to take a little step toward my left, followed by a little step toward my right. And then I'm going to do a very little rock step or just a march march. So again, the leader's step is left foot, right foot, march, march. Left foot, right foot, march, march. Now remember the rhythm is two slows followed by two quicks and swing goes pretty fast. So we're gonna take very small steps. So I'm gonna do a left foot, right foot, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Very good. Now, Savannah's going to help me with the follower's part. Now, the follower always starts on the right foot. And you're going to do something very similar to what the leader just did. So starting with our right foot, we're going to step sort of to the side. Then the left foot, sort of to the side. Followed by the rock step or a little march, march. So that's right foot, left foot, march, march. Right left, march, march. In rhythm it's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now again, remember swing is faster than Foxtrot was, so we're going to take very small steps and we're going to go a little faster this time. Ready, go. Right, left, march, march. Right, left, march, march. Right, left, march, march. Right, left, March, march, one more, left, march, march. Very good. Swing can be danced in a basic dance hold similar to the foxtrot, but it can also be danced in a two-hand hold, and that's what I'm going to show you today. The leader holds two cups of their favorite beverage, and the follower dips their fingers in the cups. Now, this is important. The leader should not clamp down. This is not a tight hold. It's a very loose hold. We don't want to crush the cup and spill the liquid. Now in this position, we are going to dance those same basic steps that we just showed you. I start with my left foot, the follower starts with their right foot, and we step left, right, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Left, right, march, march. Just like that. Now remember, Again, swing is faster than the foxtrot was, so we're going to do that again, but a little faster this time. Smaller steps. We're not really trying to get anywhere with this dance. So we'll count off four. One, two, ready, go. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Left, right, left, right, march, march for the follower. They do right, left, March, march, right, left, march, march, right, left, march, march, just like that. Now we can also rotate this slightly clockwise. So as I'm doing my basic step, we can rotate in that direction. Slow, slow, march, march, slow, slow, march, march, slow, slow, march, march, slow, slow, march, march, slow, slow. slow March, march. Now, if you're going to rotate, though, you probably don't want to look directly into your partner's eyes because that can make you dizzy. 
All right, now we're gonna show you dancing on your feet with music. If you're still in your seat, follow along with Kylie or Caitlin. I'll count off run two, ready, go, and then we'll begin. One, two, ready, go. Step, step, march, march, step, step, march, march, step, step, march, march, slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 step, step, march, march, step, step, march, march, step, step, march, march, step, one more, step, step, march, march. Very good. That swing was fun and maybe a little challenging because it's faster than Foxtrot. We hope you had fun today and got some exercise as well. Remember, studies show that social dancing can help keep bodies and minds active and healthy, and it's a lot of fun. Keep an eye out for other episodes of Dancing in Your Seat or On Your Feet, where we'll show you some other fun dances such as waltz or cha-cha. Until next time, on behalf of the Parkland College Occupational Therapy Assistant Program, be safe, have fun, and keep dancing. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. This video can be accessed anytime on youtube.com. Type in Parkland College TV in the YouTube search bar and subscribe. We hope you will join us again next week for more local engaging content designed specifically for Champaign County older adults. Take care and stay safe.